everyone how are you guys today welcome back again for another daily uh junk in my trunk sale <laughs> well today i had a fun day i went to a few different places it doesn't even really matter where i had fun filling this trunk up full of stuff for you guys um i have linens i have vintage quilts i have i originally went to go looking for vintage quilts um because i have a lot of demand for them and it's hard to keep them in my shop but I did find a lot today, so which is good. Some of them are cutters, um, and so don't worry for those who can't afford a full-size quilt. At least I can be able to. Sorry, I have construction going on next door, uh, so apologize for the noise next door. Um, so uh, I'm actually taking like two or three of these and another one and setting up because um, the day after today, um, the I don't think day after today or it's Monday. You guys will see the notification. Um, I will do a junk in the trunk sale again. You guys love those daily uh, $10 deals, didn't you? Weren't they an awesome deal? <laughs> Whew, it's kind of like bright, so I apologize. I'm like that squinty girl. Um, so I have so much to share. I can't wait to share with you guys. So back to those quilts though. Um, I'm going to be cutting them up into like a junk journal covers for those who would like to have a variety of them. Um, so those would be set for you guys on the day. I'm thinking, okay, let's make it final. So Monday. Monday I'll have the junk in the trunk sale so then I can have it all prepared and ready and bundled up for you guys there is so much goodies in here I can't wait to share with you I figured I can pull it out and bring it to you kind of thing um, again I apologize for the noise in the background here uh, we have construction going on in the neighborhood and if you ever honk or two I'm sure my neighbors probably think I'm a nut <laughs> so Let's just get right into it. So let me put this down really quick. Um, so as you can see, I'll just bring them close to you. Um, I have some beautiful hand-stitched vintage quilts going on here. This one is a cutter. Um, a few of the squares are not good, but they are pretty good sized squares. So perfect for a junk journal cover. Um, um, message me though. Again, anything you guys see that I show you today and before Monday, just message me. If there's something you're like, Selena, I have to have it. Um, write it up for me. I'll do that. That's not a problem at all. Um, I have no problem. Anything I show you today is up for grabs kind of thing. So I know this one's a cutter, um, but if you're wanting the entire quilt before I cut it, please message me. Um, it, like I said, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, it just has some squares that are just kind of need help, you know, um, and it's beautiful. Freshly laundered too. It smells, it smells really pretty. Um, yeah, here we go. Here's one where there's some thinning on, you know, some of them. So again, it's beautiful, beautiful quilt, ready to go to a good home or I'm gonna cut her up. This one is a cutter as well. Unfortunately, look at this. Look how beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, there is a hole in it, but oh my God, there's so many squares that are so beautiful. This is the pinwheel pattern. Beautiful, all 100% hand stitched. Um, everyone I've shown you is hand stitched. Not one of them is so machine. Like this one here um, is absolutely, this is like one of the most popular, uh, the hexagon, the, the most beautiful pattern. It's called Mother's, okay, I'm having a brain freeze. Help me, <laughs> message me below. I know this pattern, Mother's Flower Basket, Grandmother's Basket. Uh, oh well, it doesn't matter. This one here, no holes or anything, but the, uh, let me open her all up. Look at this, beautiful. Um, I might sell this as a whole, but um, I don't know. We'll see, because uh, there is some, at the very end, there is some wear and tear. But other than that, oh my God, 100% hand stitch, not one stitch in a sewing machine. Oh, again, freshly laundered, it just came from a good home. So this is another beautiful quilt. I cannot wait to figure out either I'm gonna cut or not, but if you're wanting it, let me know. Um, I'll just shoot you guys a price kind of thing. I'm pretty negotiable kind of thing. Uh, this one here is heavy as heck, but it is so pretty. Same pattern, um, but it does, you can't really tell because there's so many scrappy pieces. Um, but there is, this quilt has some loose pieces, some pieces missing, um, and I wanted to cut her up. Uh, so then I can make them into junk journal covers or what have you. You can tell this is uh, made from a lot of people's clothing kind of thing totally scrappy now that is scrappy um, and hand stitch again so another beautiful quilt there I came across so many linens 
so many books. Holy bejesus. I'm just going to grab a bin. I did like a bin system. So I'm just going to put this bin here. Let me press pause and then I will just kind of bring the camera down to you guys. Okay, I think this could work. All right, so in this bin, I kind of separated it to make it look uh, so I know what I'm looking for. There is oriental uh, kibonos. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. And here I found beautiful oriental silk fabrics. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, beautiful India fabrics. I know I got a waiting list on um, the $15 boxes um, for the India uh, clothing pieces. Um, again, don't mind the car, guys. Um, so like the applique, the hand, you know, made from the India clothing that I cut up kind of thing. So fill a box for $15. I have like, I think uh, 15 or 18 people on a waiting list. But if I have leftovers, I will go ahead and fill up some more boxes. But look at this. Beautiful clothing. This here is the crazy long scarf. I, I swear I could wrap my whole entire body in this <laughs> scarf. It is huge. And this, um, oh yeah, here's this one here too. Beautiful, a lot of that. And then a uh, cotton fabric here is from a dress. Um, and uh, this was really cool. Hang on guys, pipe down over there. I'm doing a video, right? <laughs> this is like a huge sheet. It's got elephants and this thing is huge. Like crazy huge. Um, I've never seen anything like it. It looks like it's like, printed like um what do you call that dyed like tie-dyed it's huge it's like a easily a queen size blanket i don't know if you guys could see that i know my camera i'm not even looking at my camera um look at that it's like totally tie-dyed or dyed of some sort um absolutely beautiful that bear i'm not sure if i'm gonna cut or i'm just gonna sell it as a whole it's a beautiful piece message me if you think you want it so um and then the oriental stuff i know i got more i've been piling it up and stuff but i came across these beautiful beautiful look at this shirts i think i'm just gonna do a, a pack unless you guys want the shirt itself or the whole kibono kibono or whatever you want to call it uh uh, but they're 100% silk. I might just make packs. Um, I'm not sure. And to share with everyone. But 100% silk uh, fabrics are so hard to come across. They're so expensive. And um, here's this one. Look at this. Look at this one. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I hope my lighting's okay out here. It's like pinks and purples and reds and yellows. And here's the front. Isn't that cool? And then the inside liner. You guys have to see the liner. Look at the inside. Almost like rainbow. <laughs> Isn't that so freaking cool? All right, my bin's going to fall over on me here. Um, and then this is like a jacket. Like, it's so beautiful. It's got these little ties here. But look at the sleeves. The gold accents and stuff. And the back. Oh, my God. Look at the back. This just is beautiful. I mean, I could see wearing this <laughs> as a robe around the house. Call me crazy, but it is just gorgeous. I mean, it's so elegant. It's totally 100% silk. It's, but you know me, I most likely probably will cut her up and share with all of you guys. And in that package of stuff I found, I found this. It said Christian Dior. I was like, okay. So I was talking to Chris and she's like, girl, you gotta look that up and see what that is. It's some kind of jewelry uh, holder. Um, and you, it, it's silk and it wraps up. So if anyone's interested, um, and then this oriental, look at that. Can you see that? Like, um, in a pocket, it's like bamboo and paper. Um, here it comes right out. This must came from somebody, um, that, uh, was oriental. I'm going to open it up and then put it back in. It's almost like a bookmarker. Sorry, a car is going by. I hope it doesn't rain on me. <laughs> all right so um then it has here you go if i can get it out of the case look at this I imagine this tag comes right off but it's like a little paper paper person and like a so cool it's so freaking cool and then um this cool silk fan i just thought great knowing me guys i'm sure i'll put it into a lot uh for you guys but isn't that beautiful 
and it's so delicate and sweet. Um, so there's that. Let me put that aside. Um, I have a ton of books. I don't even know where to begin and end. There is so much. Let's quickly go through fabrics really quick. Here's another bin. Um, I did come across like little kits. As you guys could tell, I'll be slowly adding to my shop because my do-it-yourself uh, packs, like from cross stitch to quilting to knitting, uh, all those kits is pretty low. So I've been adding to it. Pretty much it's a nine inch dowel pattern. Totally retro. Hang on here, let me get it up to you guys. And it's a, it's a fabric panel and it has all like the doll outfits for those dresses. So if you can see that there, it's like those dresses and it's two panels it looks like. So two different doll outfits, uh, which is really cool. I did come across uh, some white chenille, uh, the, the straight line chenille, which is really plush um, and some, hang on, my bin's gonna fall over on me. Um, and I did come across some really cool Christmas stuff and fabrics. So Christmas fabrics, I thought it looked really good together. This beautiful Christmas fabric, sorry the zoom. And this fabric yardage I have here is like a beaded fabric with lace. It's beautiful. So knowing me, I'll probably add something together. It's gorgeous. And this here is like these, uh, these little candy canes that are our fabric. And they got these wooden like like accents to it. I thought it would be so cute to something. I'm not sure what. I did come across, you guys love these, when I do the uh, the upholstery uh, fabric packs. I did come across many more. But look at this. See how the Christmas fabric looks really great with the red. Um, those who don't know what the upholstery fabrics are, uh, they are the ones that are fabric samplers that come on the rings. Um, and they, a lot of people use them for like junk journal covers. It's like perfect fabric that comes off. Um, I usually do a pack, I think like four, with some uh, tabs for like $8. So expect those. Look at that one. This is really cool. Look at that one. A lot of salads and um, of course designs. You guys know me, I do like a pack variety. Browns. Yeah, so I got a whole bunch of those. I'll do that again. Fabrics are just beautiful. I came across the most beautiful fabrics. Look at these. I'm so excited. I love fabric. Hello, a more fabrics, right? Look at this Victorian, like delicate one. Oh, I love that one. I love these kind of prints. These are like my cottage type prints. Um, of course, this is more modern. Sorry guys, my zoom, zoom in on me there again. Sorry guys. Hope that's not too foggy. Hang on here, zoom. There you go. They're not too close. So here are some of the fabrics I got going on here. Polka dots. This here is like a quilted fabric. It's already quilted for you. It's more like 4th of July. Um, I have two panels of that, which is great for quilting or junk journal covering. Uh, we got the flowers, cupcakes, and then of course princesses. You cannot go wrong with princesses. Um, I did get some feed sack fabric, which was really cool. Pretty good amount of it. Um, here is the pattern. It's got carriages and things like that. Uh, beaded silk fabrics. Here we go. Let's just bring the bin up. Look at that. It's like a peachy pink with little like silver sparkles of lace. Um, and then this lace here is really beautiful because it's got like this little design in it. And sequence, which is like an elegant gold and a sequence. It's a dress that I'm just going to cut her on up. Um, and then in there was this really cool, I think it's like a Catholic thing. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. It's like a, I don't know if it's a christening gown, but this is the back. It has like a that. But all the beaded pieces in here, I was going to cut her up. But if somebody wants the whole piece, let me know. But look at this. Holy bejesus. Even the border. You guys can see the border of this. It's just beautiful. And then the front is this laced collar. Gosh, guys, I haven't even got to the linens. <laughs> now, this is just junk trunk of uh, one. Tomorrow, I have a few more places I'm going to. I'm gonna fill my trunk up again, and the sale will be Monday. Stay tuned. You guys love those $10 lots that I did last time. I'm sure, look at that cross. Beautiful, it's just a beautiful piece. Somebody wants that as it sells, let me know. So there's those. Um, I do have, holy bejesus, of course, anytime I find lace doilies, um, handmade lace doilies, 
eyelet. I just obviously grab it. <laughs> I can't let it go. I love putting those in your guys' stuff. So, of course, I found a cute little basket, which I think this basket, I'm going to take some of that fabric I just bought today, roll it up in rolls, and sell it in the basket by itself in a lot. So, stay tuned for that as well. Linen tablecloths. You guys love your linen tablecloths. I know I got a ton to show you, but here is one. Uh, I didn't see any stains or anything. It's like got the lemons um, and it's got like the green. That's one. Um, I did find this really cool long linen tablecloth. Um, here is the whole linen tablecloth. It's pretty long. It comes with, I think, eight or nine of these uh, napkins. Look how gorgeous that is. I thought about separating it, of course, and put it into kits and stuff, but I just don't think I can separate it from this whole linen set. So, if anyone wants that, let me know. I came across two of these cool aprons. I'm like, okay, Selena, how am I gonna let those go? So, one is Santa, I think they're both Santa, but one is red and white polka dot. Look at it, it's like those, uh, do you remember those kind of aprons? They have button in the back, almost like those vest aprons. Beautiful, aren't they? They're totally retro and totally old and gorgeous. And then I have the green and white striped Santa. Um, isn't that cute? Ho, ho, ho. Um, and then I have a linen tablecloth. I think this is a round one. Nope. This is square. And it has the uh, pom-poms at the bottom. I don't see anything wrong with it either. I thought about cutting her up, but hey, I think I could just sell the whole thing. So here's the palms, red palms at the bottom. If anyone want it, just holler. I'll set you up. Then I found this Christmas one. Getting into the Christmas spirits, those vintage linen tablecloths. The border is this, like candles and holly and bells. And then the center, if I can open it up and maybe I can show you guys. See how that looks. Kind of opened up there with the candles and stuff. I see very light staining right there, but hey, use it or cut it. It's a beautiful piece. So and there is that. And then I have another one here. This is crazy long and it's, it reminds me of like the feed sack fabrics, the thick fabric. It's a huge amount. This one here is huge, crazy huge, heavy, ready for a good home. This one's really cute too. This one still has the tags. You can tell it's not even used. There's the tag at the bottom right here. But um, you could totally use it for Thanksgiving or you can use it for Christmas brand new. It's crazy huge. It's a good size. Um, oh, this one's one of my favorites. <laughs> Look at this one. Look at the color. Oh my God. This one here, I grabbed it and I ran. <laughs> it was like, do not touch this people. Do not touch this. Oh my God. The colors on this. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Even the center. Very light staining, not bad. Just it, quality. Beautiful linen. Um, then I found a really nice boho Mexican type uh, blanket. It's like light. Um, that or it's a tablecloth, I'm not sure. I think it's either or. It's got these really cute um, tassels at the bottom, but here is the color. Could be a wrap or I think a cloth. Um, I think you could do either or. Um, it works for either or. Um, and then I have some uh, cross stitch uh, embroidery and other pieces as well. It's a pretty good size, just gorgeous. Um, gosh, I haven't even got to the books. What is my time? I'm at 19 minutes. Um, then brand new in a package, I got like the linen uh, lace scalloped uh, tablecloth. Look at that, isn't that pretty? That's available. Whew, the linen is vast here, people. <laughs> and it's getting so cold out here. Look at this piece. Um, and then this here is embroidered. This is like all the states. You guys see that? It's got some staining there, I see. But it has the different states embroidered, like logo. Isn't that cool? Obviously, it's not 50 states because I don't see 50. But, um,. Miss, uh, Maine, Connecticut, Missouri, Tennessee, Illinois, Ohio, California, Iowa, 
beautiful piece. Good size. They're probably like a seven inch by five or six inch wide. This guy is beautiful. This guy is starched and ready to go. Look at this guy. Look at that work. He's long and it looks like it's like a, this is the back of the dresser kind of thing. Um, and uh, look at that work on the border, the purple. I don't know if you can see it here. I can kind of show it up close. But um, look at that work. Beautiful piece. Nothing wrong with this one. This is gorgeous. Uh, that you guys probably would have went, whew, almost fell over. Excuse the car, guys. Um, this is a huge tablecloth. Nothing wrong with it. However, can't say nothing. I did see some light staining. Uh, it's a little bit of browning, but that's okay. Look at this is heavy, and it's just folded in a half here. If I can show you. There you go. Look at all those squares, all that handwork. No rips, no tears, light staining. But gosh, if anyone needs that for their, their video display or whatever, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, good size piece. Um, ready for a good home? Just message me. Hurry up, Selena. You need to get to the books. Okay, holy moly. <laughs> and I haven't got to the quilt thingies. Okay, it doesn't matter. This is a huge round one. Look how big this is. Has anyone ever seen one that big? I did see it like a hole right here to the, right here. But oh my God, could you imagine how much you can get out of this? <laughs> I see where people do the looms and they do the dream catchers. But look at all that beautiful handwork. That is up for grabs. Or I put it in a lot kind of thing. And then this one is cross stitched. Um, Look at all that cross stitch. Whew, it's cold out here. I better hurry. <laughs> I am freezing my kada. Uh, I won't say it. I'm freezing my you know what off. All right, so <laughs> let me grab some books. Okay, I got, of course, another one of those garden binder books. I find them all the time. I found this really cool book. I'm not sure. It's not leather. It's not plastic, but it's a perfect size that if you want to add in what you want, I think this is so cool. It's got this cute little tie here. I don't know, add it to something. Um, I did find a fall ideal book, um, a Better Homes and Garden uh, cookbook. Uh, this one here is all time favorites. I love Curious George. This is a crazy thick book of Curious George. I have not, I just love the colorful illustrations. My first thought is rip it in my fab, my paper packs that I do for you guys, you know? Um, so I just, cool, but if anyone wants it, just let me know. Um, I did find some uh, Girl Scout books. We have the Cadet, we have Brownie Scout Handbook, and then I have the Junior uh, Handbook. But the colors in these are crazy. I need to put one down. Boy, I got quite a show behind me. <laughs> Well, you guys can see all these construction guys looking at me like I'm a nut. Um, so uh, <laughs> it's a, it's beautiful. I've seen a lot of Girl Scout books and stuff like that. Um, but uh, this one has a lot of color. Look at that. Oop, I just ripped the spine. But um, lots of pages um, and uh, beautiful, beautiful books. So that's that one. And then I have the cadet one. Oh, cool. I just seen a cool. Oh, this one's got music and. Okay, so here we go. I'm not sure what year this is. I guess I can go more detail if you want to message me. It's got music, um, things like that. So, awesome. All right, so you guys kind of get the idea. This one's the hardback, the other ones were softback kind of book. Um, I did find a couple of Disney books, the wonderful no World of Knowledge books. Crazy cool pictures in here for those who love their Disney. Um, I did find I did find um, some beautiful, look at the pictures. Oh my God, totally. My husband's name's Donald. So Donald Duck is like a, we love Donald Duck. Anyways, it's the world of knowledge, but it's in Disney. So I have two of those. Um, I came across these elective third readers, uh, first, second, and third readers. Um, it's the original McGuffey's. Um, what's really cool about these books is, hang on, let's grab one of them is it just shows you like the old time writing and um, things like that. Um, 
difference about different like five different letters and letters and you know the stuff you guys love in your journaling <laughs> what's the other one have it just had oh yeah this one here was like the like the old children's readers um like stories it's got the black and white pictures it looks like in this um really cool um all right you guys are familiar with this what's my time i'm at 25. you guys know this but you don't recognize the cover because this is the dust jacket you guys remember these books right the best children's books but this one has the dust jacket this is book oh lord have mercy I'm not sure but it has the dust jacket and everything and it has the best in children's books um, it has the you know the one word it's not just the solid colors it's like very colorful that's a cool one um, a Jewish I think that's Jewish let me know people if I'm wrong I'm not sure what it is but it's like it's like stories it's got the pictures and everything but it's not a Bible but it's like storybook but in a different name, like, no, like a language, you know, it's like our children's readers, but in a different like language, help. <laughs> um, oh, this is another botanical library, like a uh, book, but it's got the dust jack on it. It has even the articles and everything in it. And what's really cool about this book is it's so colorful. Uh, if I get the pages, you know, encyclopedia. It's totally retro. It's so cool. I wish I had more time to show you guys. I'm freezing my butt off. Oh, I said the word. <laughs> oh, I found this cool. Oh, look at this. First edition Christmas book. It reminds me, it's the 1950s. It reminds me of an ideal book, but it's totally Christmas. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. There's red. That one is green pages. I know it has some music pages as well. Put my Fat thumbs doesn't pass it up. Oh, where's the music pages? Okay, there's music pages in there as well. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay. Oh, I found this, which was so freaking cool. It's like an organizer. I know I'm gonna fill this puppy up with some goodies and sell it as a lot. Uh, stay tuned for that one. Isn't that gorgeous? Could you imagine that in your guys' little, you know? room where you're doing your different art and crafts kind of thing. Ah, I just fell in love with that one. Ugh, this game. Anyone po familiar with Pokino? This is a crazy old one, and, but look at the cards. Look at these cards. I can see, I see where you guys did the paper clips uh, with those miniature cards on the top. But look at that game board. It's so thin. It's like chipboard. And look at all those little cards. It is so cool, and I got a bunch of them in there. Um, oh my god, I still got that part of I got to show you. Um, I got some more books, but I'll just do a few more things, and I'll let you guys go. But this cookbook was cool. It looked pretty worn looking. Um, it's like a binder book. It did have some clear plastic insert, I guess, imagine for recipe cards. But what I loved most of all was, I think these are the recipe cards. Yeah, they kind of taken... They kind of, you untake those out, there's like a, like a line here, you rip them out, I guess you could put them in the inserts. Um, but uh, I just thought it was cool. Anyone want to like that, up for grabs. Um, so much more, I even actually found one thing. Whoop, hang on, bus, truck, hang on guys. <laughs> Sorry. I love my sewing. So I found a really cool sewing book. It's called Scrap Quilt Celebration. You get 24 fantastic projects for the quilters. Best love quilts and such. Oh my God, I've seen this book. I'm like, it's mine. It's mine, it's mine. I love quilting stuff, guys. If you guys want to know what Selena loves, come on out. Give me some quilting patterns and um, fabric, of course. Hello, I'm more fabric. So found a really cool book for myself and I actually found something for my grandson. All right, it sounds like people are going home from work. Um, those who don't know, my grandson, I have three grandsons. Um, and I love them all equally, but I do have a favorite. I'm not going to say his name other than the fact that, uh, he has got Asperger's syndrome. So he loves doodads and gadgets. Of course I found some another set of keys, but I'm trying to find where in the heck did I put it? And I'm probably going to botch this one up because I can't find it. There's this really cool ring holder. Anyways, 
I find them gadgets and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to share that with him. I always find him little cool gadgets and doodads and I wonder if it's in that lace box. Oh, shoot. Oh, it doesn't matter. Either way, I hope you guys loved everything I've seen. Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, this is going to sound kind of corny, but uh, little things like this. He likes little doodads and things. And um, here came this little clip. It's like a leather clip. Brand new. Um, I'm going to put the keys on there and uh, really cool vintage keys and put them in his pack. I usually make them mystery boxes and that's like one set I'll put in there kind of thing. He keeps everything, you know, doodads and such. So I make him a mystery box and all that. But I'll end it on this. This here is already taken. The last thing I'm showing you, I already had to ask Diane for Shawcraft. She loves her little children and stuff. This cute old quilt um, is just cute. Um, it has all these, you know, she loves her Holly Hobby and Hobby and all that and uh, in her country children thing. So that's for her. But I have a whole more, a lot more quilts to show you guys, but this is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys have a great weekend. Until tomorrow, stay tuned. I got that. Um, sorry, I'm scrunched down down here. Sorry. Um, tomorrow I got a big sale I'm going to, so I can't wait to show you guys that. Okay, before this cool bus goes by, bye.